What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up conversion tracking in Google AdWords for video ads. Now most people don't know or don't really realize that when you see an ad on YouTube, either on a pre-roll or on the side or in the middle of a video, or even an ad that you can skip, or even if it's a contextual ad on YouTube, these actually come from Google AdWords and they're super sophisticated. We're gonna be posting more content on this topic in the coming months. However, first I wanna show you something very important because when you try to run a video ad and optimize it for conversions, meaning you want this video ad to generate leads on your website, not just traffic clicks, you actually have to set up conversion tracking in Google AdWords. Now this conversion tracking in Google AdWords is gonna help you on all of your other campaigns, but it only really pops up as something that you need to do when you're running video campaigns. So I'm gonna show this to you in a second. What's interesting about it though is a few data-driven daily tips ago that we will link to in the description of this video, we talked about linking Google Ads and Google Analytics. And when you do that and you have proper conversion set up in analytics, you can actually run search campaigns that optimize for conversions without having to set up this conversion tag. So that's a, that's a way of saying that Google is gonna prompt you to do multiple conversion tag tracking setups. So don't get it confused. You just wanna follow the instructions within Google to make sure that you have things set up for conversions, whether you're running a search ad or whether you're running a video ad in this case. So we're gonna jump right into it and the creation of a new campaign is always going to look the same in the new Google ads and that is going to be when you go into your dashboard and you see uh, this friendly looking circle, blue circle with a plus signal in it, a plus icon and you can either click that, hover over it and see campaign or you can click the new campaign button. So we're going to do new campaign, and then this is what I was telling you about. So for those of you listening, I'm gonna to try to describe it very well, but when you create, when you click the plus button to create a new campaign, you're gonna see uh, basically seven different objectives, which is new in the, in the new Google Ads, and this is really, really cool and, and smart for businesses. So you've got sales, which is, can be search, display, or shopping. You've got leads, which can be search, display, shopping, or video. That's the one we're gonna go into today to set up the conversion tracking for our video ads. You've got website traffic, which is search, display, shopping, or video. Product or brand consideration, which is either display or video. Notice this is uh, interesting terminology by Google and it aligns with what we're always talking about, which is you, if you're not really, if you're trying to increase awareness for your brand, you don't necessarily need to get clicks, you just need to get impressions. And so that's why the campaign types are display and video. I really, really like the new Google ads. I'm gonna dive into that more in future uh, data-driven daily tips. But brand awareness and reach uh, is also display and video, same concept. App promotion, which is cool. This is where uh, it's actually gonna run. You can run it through the Google ads uh, web dashboard, but it's actually to promote mobile app downloads and it'll only show on mobile devices. And then of course you can create a campaign without a goals guidance, which I wouldn't recommend for now. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna click leads and then if I click, so now you can see the different types of campaigns that go along with leads, right? And one is search, this is what shows on the search engine results pages, these are contextual ads. One is display, which is where uh, it shows on other websites that are part of the Google AdSense network running ads uh, from advertisers that are, that are running display ads. Shopping, which shows on the search engine results pages when you search for particular e-commerce products. This requires setting up a Google Merchant Center account, which there's other data-driven daily tips on and, and future data-driven daily tips on. And then video, which will be on YouTube. So we're gonna click video. And when we do that, it's gonna say, because we selected the drive leads goal, drive conversions, we actually have to set up conversion tracking. So what we're gonna do is, um, select the kind of conversions we wanna track by selecting go to the conversion page. And in this particular case, we want to track actions on our website. So now we're gonna follow these instructions here. We're gonna enter a name and we're gonna say 
form uh, web design and development form submission. And then we're gonna select a lead because that's what best describes this conversion action. Uh, we can give it a value. And I mean, I would say in US dollars, these leads are probably worth uh, $500 to me. I'm just making up an arbitrary number, but it's probably about right. So I'm gonna put $500 in there and then um, select how many conversions to count per click interaction. We're gonna go ahead and do um, every, since that's recommended, um, every conversion adds value. That's gonna be similar concept for, for me on this one for data-driven design. Conversion window 30 days, you can, you can um, change that window. Um, we'll go ahead and keep it as the default. View through conversion window one day. This is select how long to track view through conversions after an impression. This means that even though the conversion window uh, is a particular amount of days, um, the view through conversions can happen after an impression of your ad. So it's basically like tracking the user's action to then come back and do something later after they saw your ad, even though they didn't do it right away. So actually I'd like to keep, I'd like to change this from one day to 30 days because our sales cycle is a lot longer than most. Uh, and then on attribution model, instead of last click, I really like to do, um, so th this is really cool. So um, you've got, uh, you've got different um, attribution models. This will probably be its own data-driven daily tip someday where I can explain it further, but, um, it essentially assigns credit to each uh, each time that a user sees your ad and what they do after that that time that they see it. So I'm gonna do position based because it gives more it gives an equal amount of credit to every time that the user would see and interact with your ad instead of just giving the credit always to the last click. Um, now that we've created the conversion action, we can add the tag to our website. So we could install it uh, just by getting the code ourselves. You can email it to your webmaster, uh, which could be us if you want it to be, or you can use Google Tag Manager. We actually have Google Tag Manager and we have the ability to go into the back end of our website and add the code ourselves. Um, so what we're gonna do for the sake of today's data-driven daily tip um, since we've kind of gotten as far as we need to get for you guys to know what to do at this point, um, since there's other data-driven daily tips on Tag Manager, is I'm just going to go ahead and start to set up the tag myself. Um, I'm going to put it in my WordPress site by going in here and getting HTML code uh, for it, copying and pasting it into uh, my header and footer scripts inserter in my WordPress site. Uh, there's a data-driven daily tip on that. Um, and then again, there's a, another option, another great option if you don't have a WordPress site, or even if you do and you'd rather not um, add a plugin to, to put the code in, is to just go ahead and put it in Google Tag Manager. So if you go to dataoveropinions.com, you can find all the other resources that you need to get into the back end of your WordPress site to put this in. You can um, get into Google Tag Manager to put this in. We'll link to those resources at dataoveropinions.com. But today we're focusing on one major thing, which is making sure that you have the Google AdWords conversion tag in your website, either in the HTML code or in Google Tag Manager, so that you, when you run Google Ads ad campaigns, especially for video ads, but for any campaign, you can track the conversions that you wanna track and optimize your campaigns for conversions and not just clicks. This is data-driven marketing. Seems pretty complicated, but it's actually very easy. Just follow the steps. And if you need any other help, you can email me at paul at data-driven.design. For other free digital marketing and web design and development tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day.